Hello everybody. Today, um, today, uh, it was actually an impromptu, impromptu, uh, episode. I was actually planning on doing something else, but due to time constraints and the fact that I saw something online, I decided to do this episode. Now, you know, I know I've talked about this many times. I've, I've mentioned this, you know, stop spreading hate, you know, respect each other, etc., etc., but I need to say it again because I saw two things that really, really made me upset on the way the community acts. You know, maybe I'm being a little bit naive and uh, a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit narrow-minded about my my understanding of the community. Because uh, when I say community, I'm talking about, of course, the Hello, Hello Project community. Um, because all of the people I've had the pleasure of meeting have been fantastic. Um, whether it be through idol swap or other means or meeting people at concerts, I've had really good experiences with the people I met, both Japanese and um, and uh, otherwise. So that being said, I find it hard to fathom that there's a large number in the community that act like a bunch of turds and childish, immature dingbats. Uh, and that's me putting it nicely to try to keep it G-rated. Um, man. These glasses don't stay straight and it drives me crazy. Anyways, uh, so that's that's something that that bothered me again. And like I said, it, I could have a very narrow-minded scope. I have a very lucky. I'm lucky to be in a part of groups that are very positive and respectful, and that's cool. And they're all cool, and I love them. And but you know that's not the majority of people. So. Um, the number one, which, and both of these everybody should probably will know about because the people who watch us are mostly people who are part of the same communities anyways, so you probably saw what I saw. Um, the first has to do with uh, the video, um, the Morning Musume uh, 1-5 video with uh, Karin subbing for uh, Kanon, since uh, we all know Kanon is, is injured. Um, whatever the circumstances behind the injury are irrelevant, the fact is that she's injured. Um, I think it was Hadaka no Hadaka no Hadaka no Kiss that uh, Karin was injured. I don't remember which single it was, but she was injured and Ayumi had some in the dance shot in order to cover for her. Um, and that was awesome. I thought that was really cool. And uh, later on, they refilmed everything and then um, re released a newer version with, with Karin in it. But the close ups and stuff, they still had Karin, they just didn't have her doing any dancing. Um, interestingly, this time around, for whatever reason, they didn't do that. So instead, Karin is full force replacing uh, Kanon. So there's no close-ups or anything of Kanon. It's all dance shot. Everything is is Karin. And you know that's cool. From the perspective of them two, I think that's cool that Karin is is covering for for covered for uh, uh, Zuki, and that that's fantastic and that's commendable. And I think that's a cool way of paying back for what Ayumi did for her when she was injured in order to make sure there are no delays and everything got released on time. And this is a management issue and a staff issue, and what I'm about to talk about, which is the fact that there was a lot of forefront and a lot of uh, a lot of focus put on cutting, more than Zuki normally would ever get. Um, and then on top of that, so to, that's part of the insult, that Karin's not even part of the group and she's getting that focus. And to add insult to injury is the fact that they didn't even put Zuki in the, in the, in the close-ups, um, actually, I don't think Karin was in the close-ups in the original Hadaka no Kiss, uh, but I don't, uh, but I re don't remember seeing Ayumi in them. So, point being that they even put Karin in the close-ups for these uh, for this video, uh, for the new single, and um, that's something that has been making people upset. But like I said, whatever the circumstances behind the injury, the fact is that okay, it happened. What are you supposed to do about that? People get hurt. But what it happens? Like that. That's that's unavoidable so she's hurt so whatever the reason a lot of people are p assuming it's a punishment towards Zuki in order to punish her for getting injured on her own time I don't know how true that is but the fact is that the staff are treating this a lot different than they were the other way around now to be fair on the other hand um, looking at it from a different perspective Morning Musume is hugely popular in comparison with Juice Juice with Ayumi and Juice Juice they didn't need to promote Ayumi because Morning Musume already has a FaceTime. They already had the popularity. So they needed to focus on Juice Juice. If they focused on Ayumi's part, then it would have been a little bit different because then you're, it feels like they're promoting Morning Musume, which already for a group that's not that big, it would have hurt themselves probably and pulled focus towards Morning Musume. Maybe. And uh, this time it's the other way around, whereas 
juice juice is fairly popular in comparison, so the juice juice member is in more Musume covering, so maybe on the other side of the coin that's what they were trying to do. Maybe they were just trying to give her more focus, because Juice Juice needs a more focus, and Morning Musume does it. Whatever the reason, uh, personally I don't agree with it. Uh, I think they should have done the same thing they did with Juice Juice when Ayumi was in it, because as much as I love Karin, and I love Juice Juice, for those of you that know, she's not a Morning Musume member, so she shouldn't have been given that focus. Granted, maybe that is what Zuki was going to get. Maybe she was going to get that focus, and maybe when they refilm it later on, maybe that is what her part's going to be. And we're just blowing this all up out of proportion. Uh, more on that in a few. That's actually happening regardless. But, point being, that regardless of the reason, I'm seeing a lot of hate being spewed towards Karin, or Zuki, or both. Whatever upsets you have, you're pointing them towards the wrong people. There's no reason to be upset for uh, at Zuki or be upset at Karin for what's happening. Uh, for one, they're minors. They have barely any decision power on what happens. They just kind of follow orders and kind of play along with it at the best of their abilities, adding as much as themselves as they can to it in the process. They barely have any control, so why are you going to blame them for that? They're, uh, when it boils down to it, they're a bunch of kids that are just following orders of what the company is telling them to do. So if you really want to put out any sort of negativity, Put it towards the management, towards the staff. Put it towards the right people, not the members. That's stupid. So that's even if you do. Personally, I wouldn't. You know what? It's not a big deal. I don't know why people are making such a huge deal of it. You know they're going to refilm it, just like they did the Juice Juice single. It's probably a good promotion for Juice Juice. That's cool. But either side of the coin, like I said, it's being blown out of proportion. So I just want to address that in my viewpoint on it, and I think it's ridiculous the way people are reacting. It's really stupid, immature, and childish. Um, and if they really had a problem with it, there's better ways to express that problem and to address it rather than the way that they are, they are doing it. Um, more appropriate and actual ways that make sense. But the other thing I saw was, uh, this was somebody from IdleSwap that had posted this that I saw was a Facebook page that was basically promoting the death of IED Suzuki. That's our Q from Kyuto. Um, and I think that's really stupid. Like, why do people do that? Seriously? Uh, do you not have a life? Do you not have friends? Do you, do you not have any sense of remorse or, or humanity in your bones? Like, why would you even do that? So you don't like the person. Why do you have to wish upon them death and then advertise that? That's really weird and awkward. I just, I don't understand that. It, I can't comprehend that. And like, I know there's weirdos out there. I've seen little things like that here and there. I've even seen one person do it towards my friend. And I thought that was really stupid that they did that to her. But point being, like, why? Why even do it? It, it doesn't make any sense to me. But the fact is that somebody did do it. And I just want, like I said, I, I go back to what I said before. Just have some respect for each other, you know? It, I'm the kind of person where I like all of the Hello Project members. I may like some more than others, but I don't dislike anybody. I know not everybody's going to say share my same mentality. I'm very, very laid back when it comes to liking things. And I, I find the best in everybody and best in everything. So there's very few things I truly dislike or people that I truly dislike. That's me. Not everybody's going to share the same personality as me. I understand that. But the fact is, if you don't like them, so what? They're in the business, there are other people that like them, and there's probably people who don't like who you like, for very legitimate reasons on their own behalf. Why do you have to spew hate like that, though? Uh, you know, constructive opinions, okay, that's cool. Beyond that, it doesn't have to turn into a hate war, that's just stupid. It's childish, immature, same thing that we were talking about before. So don't do it, just please don't do it, guys. And I won't, I won't, I won't do a lot of that. If anybody tries that crap on my channel, it's comments being removed. Just so you know. Respect. Please. And that's it. That's all I really wanted to talk about today is I just want people to respect each other. I think that was really ridiculous and it made me upset that I saw that. Uh, both of those things. Um, so just respect for each other. That's the theme for this week. Um, next week, I will have something special. So, enjoy. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I love you all. Goodbye. P.S. I also had uh, one of my uh, commenters asked if I could uh, show this, so um, there's a petition for trying to get, uh, I believe it's cute, into Canada. I know these petitions usually aren't the most successful ways to do things, but it's a start in order to draw attention, so please 
in the link below uh, if you can just check it out. Thanks again, guys. Goodbye.